from the introduction of the chairman by Mr. Baki Ali Nyambe, chairman of Western Area Branch. Mr. Nyambe, please. Let me give you a big hand, please. Um, today I feel uh, a privilege to um, have the uh, call actually to introduce uh, uh, the chairman of this occasion. The chairman uh, is a former student of uh, the school and is lost cross and charismatic in the regard. Uh, why was the school played on the first level when he was from three? And uh, he established a uh, newspaper and he was a uh, news agent. Uh, during that time, <coughs> having compiled news and other things, for the news we are read, um, his initials, his signature, because at to the tune, he yeah, yeah. See, he became died in the hall of progress in the school. Participated in sports, especially in field events like high jump and uh, run shop. He passed, finally, he passed his school certificate. Let me tell you, that was a class of excellence to be proud of. Class of excellence. They set uh, the stage uh, uh, where we found ourselves today. Um, the uh, performance was very excellent, and uh, the examples were what we are emulating. Uh, as former teacher, after completing this course here, he taught in this school for some time. By then, I was a student here. I found it in five, I found it here, yeah, from five. But he taught in the school. Um, he created uh, what we refer to as um, FBI, Fox Bureau of Intelligence. Uh, this was more for students who went to town without permission. Um, as house master, he headed uh, the normal house to the school by then. So I cannot say now what the name is. Um, he was on the school superintendent. Um, he also formed a club, just like the Pinkers, and the Pinkers Association. Uh, to encourage students to study science. The club uh, embarked on clearing the road to the bridge, that's to the board bridge, I think he initiated that. He had a cooperation of his members, he did that, which uh, depicted his concern for his community. He undertook a trip to Hackle, Upper School, which was uh, previously, the exclusive domain of the Boros School. Um, he was a point master of one day. He taught general science, geography, history, and English. After teaching in this school, yes, he decided to proceed to the United States for his university course. Here, there, he studied economics and he had his BA with honors. After that, he proceeded to the Florida State University where he obtained his master's MSc in Transport Economics. His chartered Transport Economics. Why, where he was um, in the university, he was the first black and African, I can say, to be elected as student of the old student general government by then. Um, his career, of course, as he came to Sierra Leone and perhaps in Nigeria, he started to work as assistant secretary to the Ministry of Transport and Communication, uh, and transport economics and head of transport planning a unit in the Ministry of Public Works in Liberia. Uh, he was post director department of Transport Communication Energy, ECOA Secretary as um, General Manager, uh, was Chief Executive of the Australia Road Transport Corporation, Senior Regional Advisor in uh, Transport 
United Nations Economic Commission for Africa. He has several consultancies for the World Food Program, you see, as well as World Bank. Um, he's married with some children. Married with some children, and um, sorry, please. He has interest in CSA. In fact, I normally refer to him as the architect of CSA. Because when he returned um, from the United States, what he did for us was to have a party, by the way, we were through the college, to have a party for us, went to his place, his residence, we were there for some time, to propose to organize ourselves uh, as uh, a body uh, to form the CSA. From then, he liaised with um, uh, Richard. So, uh, this is Lady Bambay Kamara, which is now in the UK. Uh, he had been working as CPS there, so CSUs are functioning. Uh, he played a role also in bringing CSUs to hold the first convention here on Twitter. There, he was uh, elected as the national president, and later, uh, he was chairman the administrators. He loves people, he loves and the start of this and the country at large. He's no person to less than Daniel out of the cross. that 
whatever it is, we have the responsibility to put and to make the day fruitful, one in which we leave legacies. Dr. Peter left the legacy here, continuing secondary school, which we are all enjoying now. What is your own legacy? Today, tomorrow. That's the challenge I would like to say in my opening remarks as we face back on. Let me again thank you very much for coming here and participating with us in our celebration. Uh, Mr. Kukumo, our Secretary General, has already read the program to you. It is a very short program, but please, I ask that you pay attention because you are going to learn from every moment of it. Let it be one in which you are going to remember. I'm sure, I'm sorry to say, that there will, be, there will not be many of us who will be celebrating the 100 years. You will be, and that is really our joy for all of you. You will be, let it be one in which even our souls will say they are the ones. And only as a gift. Thank you very much. Now to continue with the, with the program, I am going to ask Mr. Gabriel Presero, the senior office chair of the Ministry of Education, Science and Technology, and the CEO's member who has played a very active role in this organization. We are proud to have him, and we ask him now to introduce our guest of honor and his encourage, Mr. Gabriel Selo. Thank you very much, Mr. Gerard W. Fox. Acting Minister, members of Parliament, Paramount Chiefs, Diplomats, Principal and Staff of Centennial Secondary School, and my brothers and sisters in the white and blue and khaki attire. I would like to start by apologizing on behalf of the Ministry of Education, Science and Technology for our late arrival. This is due to the Labour Congress National Strike. And I also want to apologize for having a very small entourage. Normally, for an occasion like this, if it were not for the strike, we will have an entourage not less than 15 because we know the importance of Centennial Secondary School. I would like to apologize also on behalf of the Honorable Minister, Dr. Alpha Tiwuri, who himself would have loved to be here, but he's out of the country. And he has asked one of his able lieutenants to deputize him. And that lieutenant hails from the Eastern Province and attended a sister school. St. Andrew's Secondary School. That's the school we used to defeat in football. <laughs> in cricket, in table tennis, in long tennis. But occasionally we will allow them to defeat us so that you feel encouraged because we want to maintain the relationship. He hails from the Eastern Province, attended St. Andrew Secondary School, and after gaining all the qualifications you require, has been in the tertiary sector of the ministry, specifically lecturer, senior lecturer, 
vice principal, acting principal of Bulimbo Teachers College, and he first served in the Eastern Polytechnic up to his appointment. In fact, he still still a member of staff of the Eastern Polytechnic, but he's on leave of absence. The significance of having this particular lieutenant to come to this occasion is the fact that he is the minister in charge of what we call educational programs, primary schools, secondary schools, and non-formal education programs. And when he takes decision, it is final. So our ministry is divided into three sets or sections. And we have one deputy minister in charge of one section, another deputy minister, deputy minister in charge of educational services, and the minister himself is in charge of higher education, science and technology, and educational planning. So he is, for all practical purposes, the minister in charge of secondary schools. That is why they are expected to come. And the guest of honor is Honorable Martin Samambanya. With the minister, we have the inspector of schools who is now serving the entire district. We normally have two inspectorial districts, but because of shortage of staff, we have an inspector serving the entire district, and that is Mr. Kofana. We came with the drivers, and last but not the least, is the Director of Higher Education, Science and Technology, Mr. Gilbert <laughs> And also, I know student of Centennial Secondary School, I wish I don't have a lot of So there's no way I can call it my age, because everybody knows that I came to this school after this school attained five years. So which means I must not be less than 45 years old. <laughs> so I want to thank you very much for this. Thing. We would like to welcome the Honorable Deputy Minister, to Matthew John, to Centennial Secondary School, and to grace this very important occasion. Our next item is going to be the introduction of the local dignitaries in Nakuja. And we are going to ask Mr. FSM Kalon, Chairman of Natural Branch Silsa, to please come here and introduce the local inventory so that we will know that it's a talent place. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, for giving me this opportunity to introduce to you the new conclusion trees and natural health. Um, first and foremost, I'm happy to introduce to you a very big personality, uh, PC, A.B. Sheriff, the third, and his wife, Jennifer Sheriff. It is interesting that uh, uh, Mr. Eli Sherry is also an old student of the school with addition number 877. And we are very really proud to have such a person among us. Next is a chairman board district council, Mr. Joseph Benya. Okay. 
Next is the Honorable Dr. Sam Maligi, the second. Thank you, the Inspector of Schools, Bond Mainland, Mr. M. A. Kofana. Next is Mr. J.C. Mustafa, a long-serving teacher of this school before he left. Uh, he is very special in the sense that he taught me mathematics in Form 1, 1964. Mr. J.C. Mustafa, I owe so much to him. Mr. J.D. Sivari, board member, St. Thomas Secondary School. Mr. T. M. Sankole, board chairman, UDC. Mr. A. O. Fatih Kayo, principal, born secondary school. Madam Alice Kumabe, chairman for YMCA board. Mr. Joe Konya Osoa, Principal of the High School. Mr. Francis John Simbo, Principal ABSS Jerry. Again, Mr. Simbo is special in some sense, and he was my classmate here. Okay. And he taught also in the school for a period of five years before he left. We are colleagues. Next is Mr. Senesi Rogers, a renowned contractor of National. Mr. Joseph Ansmana, Headmaster, BC School, National. Mr. Edwin Bimba, Mr. Edwin Bimba, an old school and very strong CUSA member, highly committed. Madam Mengi Jenge, headmistress in the Mount Primary School Bank. All Centennial staff, please stand up. All Centennial staff. These are our teachers. We owe so much to them. Reverend Yuzi Musa. Board member, Centennial Secondary School. At this juncture, I hasten to say thank you very much for this interview.
I want to take this opportunity to welcome you all to the National School. Indeed, you are all welcome. As we go through this year's celebration, I'm sure that all of us, both past and present people, will have in mind the 7th of January, the final day of this school. In a year under review, for which I am making this report, I have uh, four to present to you. First, the enrollment of the school. According to the Ministry of Education, Science and Technology, all schools in this country who are running uh, both junior and senior secondary school, we are asked to divide the school into junior and senior secondary school. Centennial, but we have done that. And uh, the Vernon College School to GSS and SSS. GSS has 109 students, SSS has 250 students. We expect an increase in SSS this present time, second time, as some of the schools who passed the decade were not able to enroll because of some difficulties. Please. Staffing. The school had advantages of various categories. There were 10 graduates, 10 holders of higher teachers certificate, and among the remaining, we are specialists in technical and vocational and commercial subjects. It is unfortunate that. Uh, a full efficient position like ours will only have two females on staff. Notwithstanding, the need for qualified teachers for chemistry and accounting continue throughout the year. I want to thank those of my colleagues, even. Uh, Though there are so many odds, have still stayed and remained in South At the same time, I wish to stress the need to reinforce the staffing situation in the school. At, at the moment, the situation is very, very shaky. For example, recently, two teachers who have uh, qualification to fit them for other fees left the school for greener pastures. This has placed a great strain on us. My appeal is for all wishers to employ qualified teachers to come and serve Centennial. Perhaps the old student association sir, can take up this career. Remembering that in their good old days, the glory of this school rested on selfless efforts of visionaries and other important expatriates who are no longer available to today to continue the, the, that good work. I want you to note, past students, I want you to note that the biggest asset of a long established institution such as ours should be the interest and support of the school's own products. The effort of this should only be seen by the willingness of those who have chosen as the career, the, 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 the teacher as their career to come and help Centennial. Centennial to maintain its prestigious positions among senior developed secondary schools in Sierra Leone. Academic Club. Our curriculum remains diversified to purely academic subjects taught alongside educational and technical subjects. The worst result for the past two years, we 
we are very, very employee. Out of the pay prices, we say over 50% of those uh, PPs are able to gain admission to universities or some other tertiary institutions. The Baker Reserve also was very good for the past two years. And most of, of, of our PPs are now in senior secondary schools. As I told you earlier in this report, the passes in the science subjects we are not good due to lack of qualified and devoted teachers in these areas. We invite your prayers, I hope that all of you, all pupils, well wishers, we invite your prayers and your assistance so that we can solve this problem as a result of teachers. Religious activities. We still continue to run the school and the Christian principles on which we are founded. Our day starts with morning devotion. Every normal day starts with devotion and Christian way. We have a, a chapel committee headed by a reverend from Kamalakoa. We also invite various speakers, including all the elders of the QC conference, who continue their efforts with their devotions to the money. The staff too have been encouraged to participate with the mission conference. For the missions towards the church, the development, are now deducted from money salaries of all members of staff. I want to assure you that of our determination to upgrade in spite of all these difficulties on us uh, teachers of your alma mater. The school financial position. The Financial difficulties are still with us since the end of the world. As the school really depends on school fees we collect. The school fees we collect is what we use to pay wages, repair furniture, buy new furniture, do repairs on buildings, buy textbooks for teachers, run other functions of the school, like what we are doing today, sports, transport, dance building, and so and so forth. The grants the government and the UBC mission used to give are no longer paid. Consequently, our buildings, furniture, and other facilities are very documented or to repair. In spite of all these difficulties, however, we are able to do many repair by furniture and do some other things to keep the thing going. We are, we are also able to rehabilitate one of the duplex <coughs> staff factors from funds from PP. On our return from the war, we are